This is video number 24 uh, in our Topics in Quantum Mechanics series. A reminder that the playlist for all the videos is at the website digital-university.org. Okay, in the uh, last video, we were concerned to find some of the basic relations among the creation and annihilation operators. And we have, this is the Hamiltonian for a one-dimensional quantum mechanical system. These are the new operators that we defined. And we were looking for expressions for A dagger A and A A dagger. Now we want to find expressions for these commutators. A A dagger, the Hamiltonian with A, and the Hamiltonian with A dagger. So let's take a look, see if we can find the expression for this. So here's what we derived in the previous video. These two expressions. Now the commutator A A dagger that's equal to A A dagger minus A dagger times A. So this shouldn't be too difficult to figure out. Here we have essentially this minus this. And clearly the Hamiltonians are going to cancel. Here we have h bar omega over 2 minus this, that'll be plus h bar omega over 2. So that's going to give us h bar omega divided by that. So this just equals 1. Or sometimes you see it written in books that a a bigger is commutative written as the identical element. Now, what happens if we had it for, say, A bigger A? So that would be S minus S. So now we have this subtract this. Clearly the Hamiltonians are going to cancel. Now we have minus this quantity plus minus this quantity. That's going to give us negative h bar times omega divided by that, and that will be equal to negative 1. Or we could say that a dagger A is equal to the negative of this identity operator. Okay, now what we want to do is let's well let's see, let's look at this term. Here we have A dagger A equals one over omega h bar times the Hamiltonian minus h bar omega divided by 2. And if we solve this for the Hamiltonian, we have that will equal omega h bar times a bigger a plus one half. That's just solving this equation for h. Now, you want to take the commutator of h with a bigger. So, you will have commutator h comma a bigger. Now, h is this. So, this commutator is now going to be omega h bar a bigger a plus one half 
next to Hamiltonian, comma, we gave it. And this will be equal to, it's going to be this quantity times this quantity minus this quantity times this quantity. Let's do the first one. This quantity times this quantity times this. So that will equal omega h bar, and then we will have here a dagger a times a dagger plus one half times this a dagger. So we have this, and then we subtract this, like this is going over here now times this. So we're going to have omega h bar and then we will have this a omega right here or this a dagger right here times a dagger a plus one half a dagger. So clearly it looks like this minus this, these two terms are going to cancel. So then this is equal to omega h bar. Here we have a dagger. Here we have a dagger. So let's write it as a dagger times a a dagger. minus a dagger a. So we factored out this, and from this side we had this, and from over here we had this, written here and here. But this we can write as our commutator a a dagger. And that is one. So what we have then is that this commutator right here, commutator of the Hamiltonian with a dagger equals omega h bar a dagger. So we now have an expression for this. Last one, we want to derive an expression for this. So I that shouldn't be too difficult. So let's see. Let's go back. Won't need this space anymore. Now, from up here, let's take this equation. We have a a dagger and that is equal to 1 over omega h bar times Hamiltonian plus h bar omega divided by 2. And if we solve this for the Hamiltonian, we have that h is equal to omega h bar times a a dagger minus one half.
that's just simply solving this equation here with h, and of course h is the Hamiltonian. So, now we want to do is consider this commutator, h with a. And h is this, so this will be equal to omega h bar a a greater minus one half that is h comma a and now with this we're going to have this expression times this then minus this times this expression. So in the first part, we will have omega h bar a times a beta times this minus one half times a. Then we have minus and imagine we're taking A, putting it over here, and multiplying through. So we have minus omega h bar. Now we're going to have A from here times A a data. minus one half a. Okay, that's what we have so far. Here we have minus one half a. This is minus plus one half a. So these do cancel. Now this is equal to omega h bar and let's factor is a out. So now we're going to have a times, and if we factor that a out from here, we have this, and from here, we have this. So this would be a times a dagger a minus a a dagger. And from up here we have a dagger a minus a a dagger equals negative one. A dagger a minus a a dagger, this is negative one. So here we have then that this commutator is equal to minus omega h bar times a. Okay, that's finishes that for the basic relations that we wanted to establish with these new operative definitions. So, now come back, join us for the next video, and we'll make use of these relations here and demonstrate why these operators are considered the creation and annihilation operators. And that we'll get to in the very next video. So come back, join us for that video, and we'll continue along with our discussion.